Hi, and welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Today we're on location at Creative Cajun Cooking, and we're here with Jimmy Babin cooking up some great stuff. Now, in the first part of the show, we had the folks from Wow Wee Dippin' Sauce showing us a recipe for a hot crab dip that had their spicy dipping sauce in it, and it was so good, it was gone in minutes. Now, Jimmy, you're going to use some of their sauce in your stuff today. Oh, yeah, we're going to blend that in to make this uh, crab meat stuff flounder the happening thing. There we go. We've been doing some crab meat today. And special thanks to my people over there at Cajun Catch for getting me some good uh, crab meat that we used in the crab dip and all that good stuff. Okay, now you're going to have the dipping sauce in the recipe, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, and then we have tartar sauce, too, to go on the side. That's right. And all then right. you can kind of decorate the top of the, the dish after you plate it up uh -huh. and put some of the dipping little, sauce over the top. And a little swamp yeah. dust, and we, we just yeah. going to Louisiana it up. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. And, of course, um, the... Wow, we dipping sauce products are made down in Cutoff, and then Jimmy, you make your products. Psh, this is the home right here yeah, on the Diversion yeah. Canal. <laughs> right in the middle of a small. That's right. That's where you get gator pickle from in a small. Yeah, we've been having so much fun filming today. Uh, the folks from while we were here, Tony and Celeste, are still here. They're watching what we're doing, and then you had your buddy in the uh, the gator pickle costume. Oh yeah, Joel Luke. He was all about being a gator today. <laughs> so you can see that commercial after we get it edited. <laughs> Absolutely. Just having too much fun out here. And when we hit into the rum for your bread pudding, then we're really going to have some fun. That's what I'm talking about. I don't think nobody's leaving for a while anyway. <laughs> Probably not. Might as well just hang out and cook and have a good time. All right, Jimmy, how do we get started? Okay. We're going to do a little flat leg bread. Okay. Which, the reason I call it flat leg bread, flat leg is right over here. I know. You place, fall out you know? the kitchen, you're going to fall in flat leg. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. You got to be careful. Don't, don't uh, throw too many baits out. The fish will drag you in the water a little bit. <laughs> that's right. It's okay. To make a little flat leg bread, take some butter or uh, whatever flavor butter that you'd like to have. Here, I can't believe it's not butter thing is what I picked up today. Jimmy trying to save some calories like we ain't going to pile yeah, them save a few calories, you know. <laughs> Fat boys need to save a calorie or two anyway. You gotta have a little dust. So you add a little dust to it. And you don't wanna get too stupid with it, but uh, you season it up to taste. You get a trusted little mixer and you kind of whoop that up. This is a real simple little thing to do. You can also spread butter on the bread and then sprinkle dust across the top of it. It doesn't take a whole lot. We're going to bet they be good with cream cheese and Parmesan cheese. Oh, it's good for anything. Like Sean said, we're going to be cheese-tastic up in here today. I'm going to tell you what, that swamp dust goes great on a long neck. So you put a pinch between the lip and the gum and sip on a long neck. So there's no spot on top of that bottle to put the dust. <laughs> kind of hard to rub, but you could rim a margarita glass in there, but that'd be all right. It's going to be cheese-tastic cooking. Ooh, cheese. you know what? You could rim a Bloody Mary glass with it. Cool. Oh, talk I'm about good. I'm going to tell you. There you go. That was simple. Anybody oh, yeah. could do that. That's right. We're just going to put that in the oven? Then all you got to do is chunk it in the oven. It'll be ready to go. Look here. You got to have an egg in here. You kind of whisk it up a little bit, bust it up, mix the yellow and the whites together. And that way, everything will blend in. I'm going to put a little wild wheat sauce. I'm going to use the dipping regular mild sauce. Oh, got it. Huh? Well, you got to have something to help hold this together. The eggs help hold it all together. Jimmy just does it to taste. Yeah, and yeah. it tastes so good. There we go. That's what it's all about. And look, some creative Cajun cooking seafood ball. Mm -hmm. huh? Put a little pinch or two of that in there. That's, that's going to some... light the fire somewhat. That's right. And then you got to have some dust. Ash to ash and dust to dust. That's what makes it best for us. <laughs> So crazy. Mix some of that up. Put a little bit of milk in here. But by the time we add everything else, get, keep it fluid enough, it'll uh, And that's half and half. We're going to throw in a little bit of shredded extra sharp cheddar cheese. Got to have a little cheddar. Shallot. Green onions Green for you onions. city folks. There we go. And here comes the breadcrumbs. Now those are unseasoned breadcrumbs because you already seasoned the sauce with the dust. Unseasoned, so we seasoned up with our own thing. Right. And just adjust the liquids as necessary. That way you can always adjust by adding more liquids to it. Like the half and half milk. That's coming together so it'll stick on oh, top. Oh yeah. It's got to all come together so it sticks together. Come on. 
kind of makes a glob on top of that fish so it don't run everywhere. You know? Right, and then also you don't have any dry breadcrumbs that just sit there and act dry. We want them to toast. That's correct. Then you're gonna have a couple of pounds of this lump crab meat, cool. the premium stuff. That's right. That, that high dollar things mm -hmm. that you buy. And you wanna keep those lumps together as much as you can so when you bite into this, you realize, holy moly, look at here, we got mm. some lump crab meat. Yes, indeed. And that's why you're using that uh, rubber spatula instead of something metal, because that, that would tear, tear it up. All right, next thing we're going to do, you have to season the fish up. Yes, and of indeed. course, the magic swamp dust, so I'm using a no MSG brush. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a little dust across it. Now this recipe would work well, uh, today we're using flounder, but you could use redfish, you could use speckled trout, catfish, or even tilapia if you, uh, if you so inclined. But yeah, this, any white flesh fish will go good with this. Why didn't say something wrong fish? Hey, knucklehead. Ooh, that flounder's stepping up in class. Now what we're going to try to achieve is get the thickness of this uh, stuffing on top of that fish roughly about the same thickness as the fish so that everything will cook off at the same time and you can kind of pretty it up, decorate it up. There you go. Ain't that cute? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Imagine doing this for about 400 people. <laughs> 400 people, that ain't nothing for you, Jimmy. I know. Just drag out a pot and you're ready to go. And Jimmy lights a fire and 400 people just show up. It just, it just takes me a lot more in life sometimes. <laughs> Time, that is. Need a couple of extra ice cream scoops for that. And if you are interested in having this kind of a dish uh, served at your function, you just give Jimmy a call at Creative Cajun Cooking. Of course, the uh, information's on his website. Plus, he's got lots of recipes and all that good stuff, too. You can just give Jimmy a call. Wow, we. I'm telling you. And here we have our spicy Cajun tartar sauce that just came out on the market about three months ago. Wow, we. Wow, we. That's good. Ooh. Jimmy licking it off his arm. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he? That's good. Ain't no doubt, man. All right.